Hey, I'm Brad Nelson. And I'm Todd Anderson. And you're watching the Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. Hey, so today we're going to be playing with some uh, Pro Tour decks. Really? Uh, actually, my round five uh, match at the Pro Tour. Oh, yeah. Who is that? Uh, it was me versus Joel Larson, where he smashed me. Who's Joel Larson? Uh, Swedish Kibler. There we go. But now, I mean, now Brian Kibler is just uh, American, American Joel, Joel Larson. Larson. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was really funny because I played Joel in round five after playing him in round two. And I've never actually seen the limited go into constructed mm -hmm. match. I've always seen the other way around. And I guess you get to, and I thought it was going to be me being able to destroy him two times in a row in the first five rounds. And I mulled a bunch, and he destroyed me. Yeah. So uh, so you're playing your Pro Tour deck then? Uh, well, I'm playing the Pro Tour deck with updates from last week's article. Mm. Uh, pretty much I'm playing the same 60 main deck with uh, some sideboard considerations, because our sideboard is actually like needs to be tuned for the metagame because I'm still on this Trail of Mystery plan, which it was great. You haven't seen it play out. It's really good against control. It's Skep very good. I'm skeptical because That's I haven't fine. seen it in action. That's fine. It's actually a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, but uh, but instead of playing uh, Rending Volleys, which were way off on the metagame, uh, we're playing Arc Lightnings because Arc Lightning right now is really good against the Artifacts deck as well as the Mono Red deck. Uh, especially since most of the mono red decks are trying to fire dancer the green devotion decks out of the match anyway. Yeah. So we need to actually contain them. And I do have a cool sideboard plan that we will get to after we uh, play our first two games. But uh, other than that, I'm just playing, you know, the same old devotion I've been playing for a while stock. now. Well, it's not stock anymore. I don't have any coursers. Oh. Yeah, I have zero coursers. That's great for me. It is very good for, yeah. for red. Um, I've been playing Shaman for a while, and I talked about why I'm still playing Shaman. And that's just because the format is so volatile that... Which Shaman? There's like 40 Shaman. Of the forgot... The, the one you're not thinking the of. The Biorhythm Shaman. <laughs> the one you're not Ooh, thinking of, yeah. Boy. I Biorhythm a lot of people at the Pro Tour. Yeah. And it I, felt I'll, great. I believe it, man. That card... So, uh, I actually played the Devotion deck along with Brad and a couple other people at uh, the SCG Open in Chicago last month. And I also Biorhythm quite a few people, even though it was in, even in the sideboard. I brought in like almost every match. I'm like, well, I need to ramp really fast. Yeah. And I just randomly ended up killing people with... Uh, Tap 11 mana. <laughs> yeah, just kill you. But, uh, yeah, so that's our matchup. We're going to... Oh, you didn't say what I was playing. Oh, you're playing Joe Larson's Mono Red deck. Okay, yeah. We asked who the opponent was, oh, and then you true. start talking about your Well, deck. everyone knows who the Pro Tour champion was. Joe Larson, Pro Tour champion. His Mono Red deck is great. Uh, I've been playing with it a lot of Magic Online. Exquisite Firecraft and Stoic Flames deal so much damage. Uh, the sideboarded uh, Seder Fire Dancers have been phenomenal with Searing Blood and the like. And, yeah, hopefully I just 5 up Brad and get to go home and eat some lunch. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. We are, eat your we're we're going to have some fun uh, post-cyborg games, though. Nah. <clears throat> they are fun. You're never going to Dark Light, and don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. I know, yeah, let's battle. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I haven't been here in a while due to travel and stuff. Seven's game still? Do we still do that? Yeah, I've lost five in a row now, but... All right, it sounds good to yeah. me. <gasps> Yay! Six I'm on the row. play. It's not looking good. Still not. Ooh. Well, that is just not a hand in this matchup. I guess I am going to be mulliganing. All right, my hand's good. <clears throat> Keeping. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all you got. Your hand's good. Keeping. It's a red duck, man. It's like, all right, it's got some lands and spells. Yeah, my hand was just four drops. <laughs> <laughs> like, yep, I got a mulligan. So we're still doing the 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 mulligan roll from the Pro Tour? I guess since these were Pro Tour decks, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so Brad's going to go to six, but he's going to get a scry if he keeps. Uh, well, yeah, that's going to be a forced keep and a scry. That's a tough one, but I think it's a bottom. Okay, you're up first. All right, go. No elf. That's great news. Play a fire drinker Seder. That guy is probably good. the best one in this matchup because he can't block it with Keratid. Yep. You're My 19. 19, your turn. Attack. No blocks. I'll pump it. Alright. I'm at 19. You take 3 down to 16. You're yep, up. 16 to 19. Alright, so him doing that means there's no lightning strike off of the scene in his hand. Uh, which means that I'm just going to go with this play and hope it works out for us. <laughs> Your turn. Why would you think there's no lightning strike in my hand? I want to deal an extra damage while I can. 
Because I definitely have a lightning strike. <laughs> Attack for two. Put you to 14. Yep. Here we go. Land. Okay, we got to land. Two. We have a chance. So your blood would hurt. <laughs> uh... I mean, that is the only play we really got here, so... Make a satyr. If you could grab me a satyr, please. Or right. will I not need it for another turn? I mean, you're not going to need it. <laughs> 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 Alright. Where are they at? Oh, no, they're moved. There's one. Alright, that's all I'll need. There's a couple I'll, never, I'll never need more. Right. Go. Untap. I may actually just dome you. Alright. Uh, we'll searing blood, uh, and I don't think my Seder, my fire drinker Seder has a chance to like ever attack again. So I think I just want to attack him and try to kill him. So he goes to eleven. Down to I'm gonna eight. Pump. Uh, I go to eighteen. Put you to eight. All right. And so you go. Like I could kill that, but then I'm maybe forced to. Uh, I don't know. Could be wrong. All right. So I'm gonna play a death mist. Tick up. Two mana. Four mana, five mana, Whisperwood, Manifest, sure. go. Oh, and you Manifest, too. I didn't grab any of the tokens. Man, Brad, just, I know, I'm just making a lot me do all today. the work for you. All right, there's your Manifest. <laughs> making you get my Manifest, making you kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, you real dead. Uh, Serum Blood this, you take two, or three, three. down to five. Oh, no. And, uh, yeah, go. <laughs> You're saying there's not a chance. <laughs> I'm not saying there's not a chance. I'm just saying it's a very small chance. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Go. All right, strike you, firecraft you. Yep. <laughs> and that's why we leave Xenagos alone. And just go for the throat. All right, so we're on the play. Uh, this is the, the lucky switch that we made in this deck that... Uh, you know, a lot of people didn't think was going to be a good one, but I've had this hand so many times where I can keep it as opposed to just having a dead card. So, but we're going to keep this. All right, cool. My hand's great. <laughs> uh, I can see us needing to curve into this. Yeah, we'll keep it. It's not that good in this matchup, though. Go. Nope. That card's good. <clears throat> Go. I will not block. So this matchup isn't about uh, uh, attrition. So I really just want to play Abbott here so I can get another threat on the board with uh, Prowess. So I'm just going to let him take one. Okay. I'm going to play an Abbott and XL Swiss Sphere. All right. Play a Rogue's Passage. Oh, wow. <laughs> Go. Yep. I won a couple games with Pro Dirt because of that little guy. All right, so we will uh, lightning strike and wild slash Plukernos, Trigger this twice. Tag for five. Yeah, fourteen. Go. All right, Whisperwood yep. manifest. Your turn. All right. Let's see what we want to do here. So I can attack with both um, and do some tricky stuff. I'm assuming he's probably just going to block here to here and this here if I do. If I just attack with this, I can like two for one myself to get rid of his Whisper Wood if he blocks with that. Uh, hmm. None of this seems all that great. Alright, uh, we're actually going to attack with both to hopefully induce a block on each, but you now know, that I've said that... Well, I mean, it makes a lot of sense for me. I I can block like this, forcing a spell and a pump. Um, that spell could be Searing Blood, which also deals me damage. But our hand is pretty stocked that we get to keep casting spells. And as long as we keep a high life total, it's hard for 
him to burn us out, especially since we do have some power to attack him with. So I don't mind getting traded here. Um, and this might be a bad attack. I mean, I you can take it back if you want to. Yeah, actually, that's stupid. I'm just going to cast two guys. Let's say go. All right. The more I thought about it, the more that just seemed gross. Especially since I have these in my hands, hopefully the manifest won't be too problematic. Alright, I don't see much more of a play than just casting our two guys, and I guess Stoke the Flames might happen, but that's we're fine with. I don't think we can attack this turn. So... Yeah, I guess we're just going to play... Uh, tap correctly. I'm not tapping both green, so I can cast this. Well, I you guess just use Nyctos, yeah, and then you actually have one mana floating if you have a two drop in there. I do not. I will go to my end step. Sure. Alright, manifest. Alright, so looks like we're probably just going to have to burn him out from 14. Seems pretty difficult, but <laughs> it is possible. Um... So what happens if we attack with everybody? Brad will probably be able to figure out a block that's really bad for me, and then I'll <laughs> lose. Uh, he he could also just pile every guy onto Fire Drinker Center. Done that before. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take 11? No, that doesn't sound great. Alright. Um, uh, Syrian Blood, target, manifest, 1. an interesting uh yep 11 alright you have one card left yep and I'm gonna attack with these two Box. Sure. Okay. Alright, I'll take two damage from the manifest. Puts me to 18. Yep. Yeah. 18 to 11. Yep. And say go. Alright. Well, let's see what we get. Four, five, six, oh boy. seven. Probably leave this back in case we whiff, because then we're going to want to attack with this. I don't know if the one is going to... Yeah, whatever. X equals six. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. So that was kind of a whiff. So... I still think we want to attack with Whisperwood, though. But if it's a... S yeah, because we'll get the Manifest. And he'll have to, like, trade off with this Whisperwood. And I don't think we actually care if he does. Uh, Well, first we're going to Scry. Sure. That will keep. But we do want to start getting a little aggressive here, so... Attack. Okay, pump pump. Yep. All right. Go. So basically, we're at 18. We're just going to be racing Genesis Hydra. Uh, Searing Blood, this. Ugh. Eight. Yeah. Well, I had that last turn. I just tried to find a way to poke through. Yeah. I'm not sure if what I did was remotely correct. All right. Make a Seder attack you for eight. All right. I'll go to. Actually, I'll block the Genesis Hydra because he has Rogue's Passage. Yeah, take uh, two. So I'll go to 16. Go. Alright, so you need run in four damage burn spells. Whoop! For you. Oh no! <laughs> Put you four. Go! <laughs> Seven cards sweat! Uh, Seven cards sweat! Ten. 
Alright, I'm at six. Go. Whoop! No! So close. Let's see, I'm at six. I put you to one, kill Seder. <laughs> Alright. Justice. <laughs> All right, so from my side, uh, we're doing things a little bit differently than normal devotion decks, and that's cutting a lot of the top end. Uh, since these decks are trying to get under us, trying to control us with Seder Fire Dancer, with Roasts, uh, we just want as many things to interact with them as possible and keep our life totals high uh, in the early game. So we're bringing in all of our ways to interact with uh, Seder Fire Dancer, our Dem Protectors to help us just uh, have things to do in the early turns to trade off. And we're boarding out all of our big stuff that tends to not have a high impact on the game. Cool. Uh, my side, uh, the green Devotion decks don't usually have too much removal after sideboard, but obviously they can have Arc Lightning or Roast or Crater's Claws or other red cards that could kill it. But if it is left unmolested, it's just going to take over the game, and it's just mm -hmm. not something that a lot of people can deal with. And then uh, for Roast, uh, just because it kills most of his creatures... Uh, we're cutting the guys that just get blocked by Elf and Die, and uh, after game one, I think we're going to slow down the game a lot with Roast and Fire Dancer, and we're just going to try to be a burn deck that burns Brad out from 20 for the most part, and these creatures are the worst of the ones in our deck. So, Alright, I'm on six here on the play, and uh, we're going to keep just because we get the Mulligan, so this is going to hopefully show just how powerful this Mulligan rule is. Uh, but yeah, my hand is really good if I draw a land. Okay, well my hand is not that powerful, but our opponent's on six, and it's it's a tough mulligan, so I'm going to keep. Alright, let's we'll start with a scry. It's not a land, so we have to bottom it, and then I'll attack for one. Oh no! 19. Go. We might just die! Alright, attack for two. 17. Go. Come on, land! <laughs> Go. Always have carried to never the other ones. Well, I would have mulligan if I didn't. Oh no! Tech. Block. Uh, just. Let's see. Yeah, just take one here. 16. Yeah. And hope you don't have arc lightning. Go. This is rough. It's probably fine. <laughs> Bully? M morph. Go. Morph. 15. Brad is real dead. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Serum so Blood, your morph. Triggers. Take eight. You're at 12. Attack for this minis. Uh, block one. Alright, so you take five. Down yeah, to seven. seven. Go. This is pretty fast. I even missed my second lane drop. <laughs> I know you did. Deal. Go. Deal. <laughs> Deal dead. No, not quite. Very close. Now you're dead. Yep. Uh, roast your big guy, wild slash your little guy. Attack yep. for ten. Good games. Good games. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Light him up, up. All right, well, I'm on the play here for game four, and this hand looks uh, reasonable. I wish this came into play untapped, but we can't ask for everything. My hand's great. I'm great. <laughs> this deck's awesome. Go. All right, well... I think we can afford to let him have a turn with the elf. So we're going to play Zergo. Alright, Zergo's ready to have his bell rung. Uh, <laughs> he going to ring your bell. <laughs> so here, we should play the mana, forcing him to kill the mana, instead of playing the raptor that he can ignore and take care of our mana. Um, so, go. I don't really know what to do here. I guess I just roast this and attack for two. Eighteen. Go. Yeah, that was a really awkward turn. Alright, so we're gonna scry uh, bottom that, since it's not a spell. It's pretty easy to <laughs> know, and then we'll play a Death Mist and Pass. Hmm. That's probably bad. I'm gonna Abbott trigger. Yep. 
never going to do anything with that. And we're going to keep him from playing Whisper next turn. We're going to wild slash that and say go. Alright. Uh, I'll just play a morph and pass the turn. And hope both my guys don't die. Hmm. Oh no. Uh, we will for you and kill the morph. Alright, so you go to 14. Yeah. And I'll say go. That is bad. We go to 13 and play Whisperwood. Yep. If we don't have removal, if I never draw my removal, that's bad. Oh, I don't have removal either, so this <laughs> is going to be a fair game. Alright, so Brad's going to get a manifest. Yeah. He'll get that in a second. If I don't destroy my cards in the process. Yeah, I think we still just have to say go. I just cut myself. That's fine. You're up. Alright. Well, I don't see any... Yeah, just have to clog the board and hope this lives for a turn, and then I'll pass priority. Yep. Go. Whoop. Oh boy, this is just gonna. I'm just. I can't win anymore. So this is what it feels like playing red decks. <laughs> <laughs> Last few games, polar opposite feelings. Just I can't lose to. I can't possibly win. I guess I could have waited on this. Just didn't want you to dim protect her back anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess I'll just keep playing. You're at 13, but... I'm at... Oh, yeah, 13. Go. Alright, we'll flip this up. Sure. <laughs> now my Zergo can block it. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to kill off some creatures here. If we draw a land, we did not. But we definitely need to get that Fire Dancer off the board. Alright, so let's try to figure out an attack. Do we have one? I'll attack with Pulukrinos. Okay. Taking it? Yep. So, he would have probably used the burn spell on something if he had it, but I still think that one point's not going to matter, so I'm going to just put you at... 15. 15, and I'm going to go to end step. Yep. Uh, Alright, so we're going to get the manifest. Three. Take a look at it. And then I'm going to monstrous x equals two, one and one. And your turn. We did miss out on some points of damage, but I want to make sure yeah, I got I'm my done. manifest. Okay. <laughs> All right, good to be on the play. Woo. Play game three. All right, we're here for game five. I'm on the play on a mulligan to six. Uh, my seven card hand was four land, two stoke the flames, and a wild slash, which it's lands and spells, but it's not going to get the job done, I don't think. Uh, my six is a lot better, and I get a scry, so I think we're going to be good on this one. Yeah, I wanted to continue mulliganing uh, to try to find arc lightning or red source for it, but I don't think we can argue with the sand, even though it's probably not going to work out. All right, so scry, um, I think I'm just going to bottom this card maybe not if I draw a land this card is great because then I can cast this on three and something else um, but the odds of that happening are low so we're going to bottom that and say go I would love there for that to have been in my opening hand on the play All right, well, we'll let them tempo kill this no no kill no kill go oh no it's not as bad as you think I know. Courage Clause for one, tech for one. Alright. Uh, you're at 19. We're both at 19. 19. Alright, your turn. Alright, kill a deal, you three. 16 to 19. Alright, 16, 19. My turn? Yep. Alright, morph, go. We'll just use a manifest. Kill it, dilly three. Oh no! Or you'll lose, use nothing. <laughs> Thirteen. Here we go. Stop drawing those. Go. <laughs> Not dog. That ain't me.
So he's missing land drops. Uh, if we draw a land, he just dies in a couple turns, but... Hmm. It's tough. If that's a Den Protector, I'm okay with that. If it's a Rao Claw, that's really bad. Kill it. Alright. Go. Go. Alright. Kill it. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I'd draw a land, I would just start pointing them all at you. I probably still should have. Go. Alright, maybe we can race that guy. Alright, for you. Oh no. I'm at nine? Go. I'm probably gonna lose. Take it. You're at sixteen? Four uh fourteen. Fourteen, yeah. Go. Yeah, I probably should just let him keep his shaman because now I am going to be short on lethal by a turn unless I draw a wild slash. Yeah, for you, whatever. I'm at five. Go. Tilt. Tilt. Alright. Should have let him keep a shaman. I think it was right to kill the morph. But, yeah, my, my damage just doesn't line up well now. So, because he can hit me for 9 down to 5, or he can pump his, his guy, either way. Deal me one extra down to 4. Just trying to figure out the math here, what's best. God, I hope I just draw a lot slash. I don't. Uh, so we can play this face down and flip it up immediately, get back Crater's Claws, attack him, and put him at lethal to the Crater's Claws next turn. Or we can just play this guy. Play both of these, and then be able to do all that next turn, because we'll have a ton of mana. I'm just trying to think of what's the best defense is. I guess we should play around Searing Blood plus... We should play around everything we can play around if we can kill him in two turns no matter what anyway. And Searing Blood plus uh, Swift Spear is something we should play around and that play doesn't play around it. So we can play Karyatid, play Whisperwood, attack for five. Okay. I'm at nine. Or, or attack for seven, I mean. Sorry, I'm at f uh, seven. Like seven and then manifest and then your turn. <gasps> Start by exquisite firecrafting me with this. All right, I'm at one. All right, let's write it down. Go to second main phase. Uh, go to end step. Go to end step. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's a tilt. <laughs> yeah, I misplayed that game, I think, but uh, yeah, like I could have let his uh, shaman stick around. I don't know. I was just one short because I spent a turn killing a guy instead of him. And I mean, the game came down to me not having the Wooded Foothills or the Fireball and having it for turn two. Uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> just draw perfects. <sighs> All right. Well, that... Uh, that, <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> that was super fast. Yeah. Uh, that's the matchup. It it doesn't take that long, especially without coarser grind games, like, the, without that in there, like... It's whoever just destroys the other one as quickly as possible. And, like, Corsair obviously helps us match up. Uh, but I have just found that if I want to be the Devotion deck, like, that card is good against this matchup and kind of against Control. But if I have my sideboard plan, it kind of gets invalidated. Yeah, it, it was this weird holdover from, uh, like, the Burning Tree Shaman Green Devotion era yeah. because it just had two Devotion. And there just weren't really that many great options. Like, Corsair is a Control card. Mm-hmm. You want to hit your land drops when you're playing control deck and then draw spells every turn. Whereas, like, in, in Devotion, you know, Corsair is just letting you, like, see more mana guys on top of, like, putting a land into play from the top of your deck instead of from your hand. Yeah, I mean, it helps you, you know? gain life in matchups like this. It helps you draw a couple extra cards every game. Yeah. But, but it, it's not actually good against control. It's only good because you're getting card advantage and you're hitting your spells that matter. Yeah, where that's not, card advantage isn't really how you beat control, though, no. man. You just have to, like, have these threats that they eventually can't deal with one of them. Like Trail of Mystery. 
Sure. <laughs> or Xenagos or Fireball. Nissa or Fireball. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so like this matchup, how it plays out is like there's so many nut drop potentials from both sides. And like Monterey has to contain, except we have to contain the Fire Dancer. So that's how these are going to play out. Those five games Did represent the Did you guys watch Brad draw Wood of the Hills Integrator's Clauses first two draw steps for that game? Yep. Because that's what he told me after. And that ain't nice. I was going <laughs> to kill every creature he played and deal him 14 damage. It's not fair. Yeah, I know it's not fair. I also punted, so whatever. Whatever. Maybe I didn't punt. I did have to draw a land like on the next turn when I killed Shaman to start firecrafting you. I don't know, whatever. If I don't, I just lose to Whisperwood, I think. But Yeah. Whatevs. Uh, yeah, Red Deck's great. Joel's great. Um, I'm okay. I'm medium. Brad's medium. Deck's medium. Deck's, no, Deck's great. Uh, the, the green deck, uh, I think you guys had actually the best win percentage at the Pro Tour, right? We your, did. Your team? We, we were held of, up of all a little teams. bit. So they didn't they didn't put one of our 6-3 ones in the stats, but they also added Kibler, who played his own deck where we should have played because his deck was actually great for the Pro Tour. Oh, he went nine one, right? So that's he like also a... just like didn't win a match in limited. So so like so his he... constructed deck's great, and he, sure. he needs to learn how to draft. Again, that's true, I guess. Yeah, but uh, says the guy who never does better than four two in in, in hey. Pro Tours. No, me, oh, you? not you. Oh, I'm proud of myself. I lost the finals of both my drafts. Like that, I didn't lose the first she round. Also and I also lost win to Mike two. Flores in the second draft. He, I lost to double removal spell off the top. I was about to AKA Flores. I was about to red enchantment that taps two artifacts and Thopter, uh, Spy Network came out of the game, Thopter but Spy he kept Network's killing great. my stuff. Yeah, but um, no, I think that the the devotion deck that I've been playing, I like this list. It's it plays into the format's aggression, and you just have to get them dead. So. Uh, if you like Devotion, this is the path that I would take. I don't think that the coarser versions, I just feel like they're just not uh, consistent enough mm. um, at beating these aggressive draws. Like, you don't want a coarser against Rally or or uh, Thopters or anything. Like, it's just not going to do enough. It's good against Red. It's good against Obstant Control, kind of. But the Cyborg plan, if you just try it, like, if you're a Devotion player and are going to FNM this week, just play the sideboard out once it's so much fun against a control deck or an obs uh control version like you just take out all your mana dorks uh or some of them we even cut elvish mystic over Carrioted against some matchups and you just play them play a morph get a land flip it up kill an elspeth like den protector chains deal a ton of damage to your opponent that's true and you end up drawing every land in your deck that your deck is like 20 cards like the first time I was sold on this, when we're playtesting and our Obzon opponent guy, Obzon control opponent, goes, Ugin, Ugin you, wipe your board, and I still had enough resources to go, Genesis for nine next turn. And I only had, like, 18 cards left in my deck, so I was just, like, going to hit one of my Xenagos and kill him. <laughs> like, just, like, I ripped through every single line. I had three dead cards in my deck, though. Wood of Foothills. All right. Had no targets. All right. Yeah, they're just dead draw steps. But, yeah, I mean, it didn't matter because you're discarding lands every turn. Yeah, I mean, you also have a ton of morphs, so Ugin doesn't even kill your morphs or whatever. Yeah, so, and yeah. manifest, but it's great. All right, guys. Well, uh, this weekend, uh, starting in just uh, about 12 hours from now, maybe, or so, when you're watching this. I don't know. Uh, no, maybe it's 24 hours. I don't know what time it is in London. But Star City Games coming to Grand Prix London this weekend. Uh, if you are in the area, please come. It's going to be a, a good time. Uh, the standard versus guy, or sorry, the versus guys are all going to be there. We've for, already done it for the standard seminar. This is Friday. Oh, uh, yeah, we've already done it. Yeah, <laughs> even if they join in at Friday. eleven or right when the the site refreshes with our video, okay. we've already done it. Tilt. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Grand Prix London this weekend. We're all going to be there. Hope you're there too. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be fun. You'll see us running Meet and around. Meet greet standard seminar. Yeah. I can't uh, wait. I've never been to London. Me neither. Yeah, I'm getting all my bucket list uh, I wanna, objectives I wanna, off. I just I've watched so much Doctor Who in the past three months that all I want to eat is fish and chips. Well, we will get plenty of fish and chips. I know. Don't you worry. Every street, You'll be sick every of street it. Every corner. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, uh, I yeah. The pubs are great. Mm. I, I I love going to pubs. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Join us this weekend where we'll be in London. Uh, but you have to literally join us because yeah, it's Wizards coverage. <laughs> yeah. So, what are you gonna do? Yeah, you have to be there to join us. And if you're not, uh, there's probably a local tournament here square. <laughs> anyway, see you guys next week. <laughs>